Hey, what's going on, you guys? Like with you guys to another one take review. It's your boy Big Dog back with their another review for season two, episode nine of Castle Rock. Caveat emptor. Is up there on the TV? Yes, that's what I'm looking at. I got kid I remember. Probably should have, but no, the, the, the title wasn't something that just stuck out to me. But this season killing it. Only thing I am worried about though is that we as an episode nine. Episode 10 is next week, and that's the season finale, and I have no idea what's going to happen. One, is Nadia, Abdir, and it, is all of them going to come back to Castle Rock? Or is the is the um, ceremony going to go on as planned? Because them, they, them breaking back uh, Amity, with, is, is they going to use Joy as the host? Oh uh, why? Pa and then I'm thinking about this episode because this, this also this is a spoiler thing. I don't know if you, I don't do non-spoiler reviews for like shows. So uh, this is definitely a spoiler review, but it's not a technical. Well, it's technical review and kind of not a recap. I'm just gonna say, but some some stuff that happened in this episode. It's like, hey, the, I'm, I'm gonna call them the zombies. Okay, yeah, the zombies, the zombies infiltrated Pop Spot where everybody was at. Everybody who wasn't a zombie was at, because Pops now was getting chased by some of the. I, I, I just have to call them zombies. I know they were actually used to be people. I get it, but for the sake of the show and for the sake of the review or recap, whatever you want to call it, they're zombies. Okay, cool. So yeah, moving on from that. I have to say, I did pull the nick of the time. I'm in the right place, right time type so situation where he rescues Nadia and the, the I don't know the little girl, the girl who was hanging with Joy. I actually don't know her name. She, 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 I don't think nobody really said her name. If they have, eh, you, know, you know exactly what I'm talking about though. So they rescue them. Um, and this is where I kind of feel like the story was good, but I feel like the plot kind of helped because for some reason or another, they knew that Pop was in his place and that's where they should go. Uh and talking about Annie, the lady who I mean, if I forget her name, it really doesn't matter at this point because she died, okay? Sorry for her. Because she was just trying to run the freedom. She heard the train and, and she got shot by one of the zombie people. Which sucked. Because that's and that's pretty much what this episode kind of became about. It's like, hey, we're trapped inside this place. These guys are out here. They won't what Pop had, and Pop had the letter from the old sheriff, as you know, that sheriff was the guy who, like, had, what's the name, locked up under the jail, uh, Bill Skarsgård, because they, they call him the child, uh, in the first one, that's just actually what his name's under, and I could, they, and this season, you probably can call him the angel, but, don't call him Bill Skarsgård, people, because the child or the angel, that's not working for me. Also, well, and, he wants those letters because he you know Pops have them, and they're probably gonna lead him to where Bill Skarsgård's character is. Because don't nobody know who he is. He's no longer under the jail, which was a surprise to us. Well, I think when we saw that, because we thought the last time we seen him, that's where he got left at, and we know he was there for years the first time. So how how did he get out? Whole issue is now is like one they had captured one of the guys who had like infiltrated them, and and. And he kind of went off for a rock and killed the guy, which is like, hey, he wasn't going to do anything anyway. I mean, he was just sitting there. I mean, shit, I probably would have killed him too. It's like, hey, man, plus he was talking shit. You can see what happened when you talk shit. Get your ass dealt with, man. Had to be the black guy, though. Not just bullshit. But uh, <laughs> it was, that's, that's essentially what this episode was. But the weirdest shit that happened in the episode to me was the whole bomb situation because Pop was like, hey, if I blow, he, he burnt the letters. He didn't do it at first, but he realized like, oh, okay, Augustine or Augustine, whatever the head that, I saw this, I got it on subtitles, so I seen his name was Augustine beforehand or Augustine before, and I'm like, okay, his name is Augustine. And then he said Augustine or something like that, which was so fucking stupid. I'm like, dude, just name yourself Augustine. But that's, that's beside the point. Pop took the batteries out the detonator and, and could have blew himself up. But instead, he took the medicine that brings a person back. But when Pop's, when they bring Pop back, shouldn't the medicine be on wear off? But then again, it might not. Medicine might just be stuck in Pop's body. But then when they use, when they bring it back, that's when the bug going to start back going and the medicine might work. And then Pop going to... 
infrastructure, but it's, it's just weird. It's like, how long will it take it to happen? And like, how do Pop know it's going to work? Also, they asked the question, why didn't they hear the sound? They didn't know. Neither do we. Okay. I'm, I think that's something they have to answer. Like, why didn't they get turned into zombies? I, I know there were other people in the town that we didn't get to see, you know what I'm saying, turn into like mindless zombies, but what was special about them? And I, I kind of feel like they, they said it. I think they're going to have to bring it back up, you know what I'm saying? Because I think that's just something that's just like too big of a coincidence just to be like, oh, just these people just so happens. They have to have some other significance to it. Uh, whether or not they just like, hey, these people weren't born in the town or something along those lines. If they if that's the case, that would be better. But just like saying like, no, nah, there's nothing. That just I, ain't, I don't think we can let that fly. But they escaped. And this whole episode, I thought, like, since this episode now, I thought we going to get to see Bill Skarsgård character. I thought he when they crossed the, uh, the train, I thought he was going to be waiting on the other side and, like, you know, just be his creepy self, to be real. But that didn't happen. So I I'm, I'm don't know. We have one episode left, and it's kind of weird. Because I don't necessarily know exactly where we're going. I know we have the, the ceremony. Uh, they're going to bring Pops back. They're going to bring Amity back. And supposed to have supposedly be a Skarsgård character supposed to be in there. That's all I know. I don't know what their goal is. I don't know what they're trying to accomplish when she brings them at this certain time. I think she's going to let us know when she get here. Because I'm assuming she's going to get there. But... To be to have, for a show to have ten episodes and you get to episode nine and you still don't necessarily know what episode ten going on what's gonna happen in episode ten. Typically in most in most scenarios would probably worry me, but for some reason, I guess granted how this season been going, I'm not worried. I think everything is gonna tie itself together. But if it don't, if it does not. You guys will see me next Wednesday. Probably a little earlier than this because I'm getting this review up late because I was pretty busy today. But, damn it, it will be Wednesday. Next Wednesday. If they don't pull it off, I will be right here. Shit talking, skywalking because y'all know one thing I hate more than anything is a bad ending. Two th things I love when I'm judging in it, whether it's a show, a movie, anything. The characters and the ending. You can pull those things off. You're probably going to get great from your boy. But if not, shit talk. And listen, if a bad ending can fuck up a good, a great season. And, and that's just what it is. It, it will take a great, a season can go from great to below average. Matter of fact, it can go to, the, uh, uh, it can literally become a Duke shooter. And I don't know why I said literally because that's probably not something that can happen. I can't turn the show into ass, but if the end is sucks, then the show will be ass. Okay? But I, my faith, I think they got all the confidence from your boy because I think they've been killing this shit. And I think this episode killed it. Also, if there's anything that I missed that you guys might have noticed, let me know down in the comments. Hit that like button. Let me know. Also, let me know what you thought about the episode. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell thing because for some reason, I don't think people necessarily hit the bell. They're just like, yeah, I'll subscribe, but I won't hit the bell. Hit the bell. Ding-a-ding-ding. -ding. But yeah, I'll catch up with you guys later.